PC Magazine published this review about Obsidian two days ago. The article is a fair summary of Obsidian's strengths and weaknesses, and one of the weaknesses mentioned by the article is the lack of built-in handwriting recognition and the ability to add scanned documents to your vault like you would do in OneNote or Evernote. But not anymore. Introducing Excoladraw Optical Character Recognition, or in short, OCR. This service is powered by Taskbone, which is a cloud-based service, and it allows you to process handwritten text that you enter using the free draw tool, as well as images, like this picture of a blackboard. The recognized text is placed on the clipboard, so you can paste it into a text element later, and also placed in the front matter of your drawing, so that you can search for the contents of your handwritten text using Obsidian Search. This is an experimental feature for now, and it's released in a minimum viable product quality, meaning that it's rough around the edges, but it works. For example, you do not have the option to automatically scan your documents, you need to press the button to initiate the scan. To use the feature, you need to enable it in plugin settings. So you come to the Excolidro plugin settings, you scroll down to experimental features, it's right close to the button, and there you can find the Taskbone optical character recognition part. Please carefully read the text. The gist of it is, first of all, this is a service that someone else is providing, Taskbone. This is not a service that I've developed. I only integrated the service into Excolidraw. Second, the service will send your document, the image that you want to scan to the cloud, and on Google's servers, the scanning will happen and you will get back the text and the text is added to Obsidian. If sending your data to the cloud is a deal breaker for you, then please do not activate this plugin. Also, by activating the plugin, you agree to Taskbone's terms and conditions and privacy policy. And if you want to know more, you can go to taskbone.com to learn more. For now, the service doesn't have a price. And even in the future, I understand that for a reasonable number of documents, a reasonable number of scans, the service will remain free. But if you use the service frequently, then in the future, there's going to be a paid version of this service. And in that case, if you get a paid license key, a paid API key, then you will be able to enter that key right here. So how does the service work? You open the Obsidian panel and here you can find this icon right here. OCR grab text from free draw text and pictures to clipboard. So what does this mean? It means that it only captures the free draw elements and the pictures. It will not scan any other elements on your drawing. So for example, if I have this rectangle here, this rectangle is not going to be scanned, even if it's, it has a background and it blocks out part of the text. When the scanning happens, Excolidraw will simply disregard the rectangle element as well as if you have text elements. So this is some additional text. This is not going to be scanned. The simple reason is this is already text. It's already in your markdown document. There's no point in scanning this. So when the scanning happened, the scanning exclusively only scans the pictures and the free draw lines and will try to convert this into text. If you process an image once already, like this one, then when you press the button again, you will see in the right hand side that the drawing has already been processed. If you want to rescan it, you can rescan it. All you need to do is you need to hold down the control key while pressing, and this is the command key on Mac, while pressing the scan button, 
and with this the scanning will happen it takes a few seconds and you can see the message that the text was placed on the clipboard and in the front matter of the markdown document and from the clipboard you can simply open a text element and press ctrl v to paste the text and you will see all the text that was scanned and here if you look at this you will also find some of the text from the whiteboard or blackboard picture right there there you go developing plus strengthening tools and i saw it right here developing strengthening tools so you can see that this text was nicely recognized and in the front matter of the document if i open this as a markdown document mm -hmm. then the scanning will add this taskbone ocr front matter tag and here you will see all the text that was recognized now why is this useful it is useful because you can search for this text so for example if i want to search for optical character recognition then i can open the obsidian search and i can type in optical character recognition like this and you can see all the different finds but for example you can see my drawing here and my drawing here so one of the finds is this document and i can do the same so if i search for strengthening tools like this then you can see that the text was found and that text was here on the blackboard so this works pretty nicely so that's all i wanted to show you today if you have any problems or ideas please raise them on github i will also include the link to the taskbone github in the video description so you can raise issues with taskbone also directly with the developer of taskbone and overall I hope that you find this service useful and I hope that with this we are able to take a step closer to closing one of the gaps highlighted in the PC Magazine article. Thank you.